questions, if you have a question, <laughs> please raise your hand. Coach, whenever you're ready. You know, obviously that, uh, that was a good football team we just played. We weren't ready. There's no way that uh, I think that's exactly what our football team is. That responsibility starts with me. I'll take responsibility for that. Uh, I wish Maryland the best. It looks like they've got a team that uh, the community can be proud of, and we're going to go back home and work on Syracuse. Questions? Andrew in the front. Um, do you know another tough start offensively today? I think two straight three and outs, so that's three and out the turnover. What was Maryland doing, or what were you trying to do that you couldn't get going early offensively, and what maybe changed in the second half? We didn't know what they were doing, so we were trying to figure out what they do. Opening moves on a chess game. So once we figured out what we do, the, what they were doing, the ball started moving. But what was so effective about their run defense? I think you guys finished with 70 net rushing yards. Like it wasn't effective. Carry. We were behind by over 30 points. You, if you run the ball, the game runs out on you. It's called time management. If you want the clock to stop so you can catch them, you throw the football because the clock stops. If you don't care about winning, you can run the ball every snap. If you care about winning, you need to put the ball in the air and shorten the game. I mean, lengthen the game, not shorten the game. Okay? Second row on the end, then, Steven. Coach, you've been around college football a while, so is Loxley. Have you developed any sort of relationship with him? And if so, how would you describe that? We are friends. I've, I've seen him. He's been around a long time. I've been around a long time, so we know each other. We know a lot of people. More friends with guys that I know that knows him than me and him and knowing each other. If you had any advice for him starting off the program, similar how he did you know, a couple years ago, what, what would that be? I would think he would have advice for me since this is the second time that he's had an opportunity to be a head coach doing this. And usually when you get fired as a head coach, you don't get a second opportunity. He did, so it's really a blessing. So I would ask him how he did that more so than me trying to give him advice. Steven? You've been very high on your defense, and understandably so, coming into this. What didn't go right for them today? Well, I just think it came down to a lot of things, but when you really look at the tackling part of it, I mean, you guys, there was, there was a lot of missed tackles, and when you have missed tackles on, the, on a defense, whether it's linebackers, back end, D linemen, you're going to get guys extending plays. You look at the third downs, I mean, that's, that's an amazing statistic no matter who you're playing. And uh, that is not vindictive of our defense. We're normally fantastic on third down. You extend the plays, you extend the numbers of plays, and then you start getting in trouble with conditioning. I understand there were a lot of facets from I kind of expected the D-line to, to have a good matchup there. What did you see from them? And was it something Maryland did, or maybe just not trying to be too aggressive with a, a running quarterback? Got to go back and look at the tape. That's, yeah. There's no doubt that that should have been an advantage for us. Uh, we had young tackles, they had young tackles, and it just seemed like they handled ourselves a little bit. They handled us a little bit there. Eric, Chris, and then Mario. With two kind of opposite performances through two games of the season, where do you gauge where that defense is at? We're going to go back and we're going to look, look at it. I mean, obviously we're not as good as the first game, and I would like to think we're not as bad as the second game, that we're somewhere in the middle. And hopefully we still have, uh, I, I really believe that that's going to be the strength of our team along with the kicking game, and we're going to need that early. Chris? Uh, did, you see any, you know, did you see anything positive from, I know it was a 63 to 20, you know, it's not good loss on, on the road. Do you see anything positive out of this that might help you for next week to get better? For next week, I think that, yeah. I think that when we tell them that it's blue, they're going to believe it's blue and it's not yellow. And if we tell them we want four, they're going to give us four and not three or five and tell us good enough. And I think the biggest thing is is that when you, know, when you win and you tell them, hey, guys, this is not exactly the way you want it, sometimes they don't believe you. I really hope that they believe me now. Mario? Tommy's second start had two turnovers in both games. Did you see a growing improvement of him through week two, or, or is it, you know, we need to go back to the drawing board? I think he did grow. You know, obviously he had the turnover from behind. You know, I keep saying those defensive ends are a lot faster than what you think. And what he sees is he sees those guys going by him and he steps up. And then he, he looks, he looks for a receiver, and then he takes off and he's, he's got that ball out there. And I'm like, that guy that was three yards past you, <laughs> he's, he's coming back and he's playing too. So he sees it on tape. Again, we've talked about it before, but now it's happened to him, and I'm sure he'll be much better than that. And then we had the one scramble on the sideline, uh, obviously, where he threw that interception. But I thought he bounced back and uh, did some good things.